The IFF 53rd Convention in Las Vegas opened with a spectacular opening ceremony in celebration of the theme, Strength, Solidarity, and Success. The program began with a parade of members carrying flags from everywhere the IFF has affiliates and an impressive presentation of colors. The more than 2,800 delegates, alternates, and guests remained standing as the Las Vegas Mass Choir sang both national anthems. Choir also entertained the crowd with a medley of favorites from Lean On Me to Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Turning more somber, the names and pictures of all of the members who died in the line of duty in the two years since the last convention appeared on the screen in an emotional tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. The convention video reminded delegates that it is through strength and solidarity that the IFF has been successful in fighting back against those who seek to do this union harm and in achieving our successes. The highlight of the opening ceremony was General President Harold Shapeberger's State of the Union Address as he prepared delegates to consider 51 resolutions and elect IFF officers. We're going to keep innovating. We're going to keep thinking out of the box. We're going to be creative. And we're going to be standing strong for our members because that's what we're all sworn to do. That's the kind of union our members need and deserve. And that's exactly what we're going to give them. Speaking about the power of solidarity, he underscored what working together with one voice can accomplish. Whether it's marching together in Anaheim, California to take over the NFPA Standards Committee and Conference to ensure that NFPA 1710 was adopted and a minimum staffing code would be brought, become the standard of our profession. Whether it's marching together to take over the Capitol in Madison, Wisconsin to fight back against an anti-union law or busing across the state of Ohio to win a ballot measure to return collective bargaining rights to our members that had been ripped away from them by a bad governor and legislature. Whether it's a rally that takes place in Oklahoma at the annual meeting of the American Legislative Exchange Council to take on ALEC and the billionaire Koch brothers funded attacks who spend vulgar amounts of money to screw the wheels off our members, take away their rights, abolish their pensions, silence their political voices, and financially destroy, destroy our union's ability to represent their interests. To this IAFF of ours, that's what solidarity is also all about. And it is because IFF members stand strong together in solidarity that the IFF enjoys more successes than failures. And there are many ways success can be measured. Whether we have protected them from layoffs or improved their staffing, whether we have developed the programs and services that enhance their future, whether we have built a union that gives them the value they deserve. And I am proud to say that this union, with your guidance, with your leadership, with your support and work, is providing the tools and technology needed to succeed. I know we can't win 100% of the time, but we sure as hell win a lot more than we lose. Watch the General President's entire speech on the IFF Convention website along with full daily coverage.